Hi. So, you're here kind of early. I don't have a video ready yet. Why aren't you here? I have to go edit some stuff. Um, see you in a, let's see you in a bit. It's a huge story and let me tell you why. Over the past two or three weeks, looking at companies that would be potentially good to go with. We found a company that we really liked, but when we called them to talk to them about their insurance package, it turned out that the deductible was $10,500 a year. Let me repeat that. The deductible was $10,500 a year each. That sounds crazy. I know that. It, it does and it is. And of course it made going with that particular company impossible. You have my permission to take this segment and put it on your social media because what you're about to hear is incredible. It is a story that has been buried. It only made page 28 of the New York Times and nobody's talking about it except a political commentator by the name of Dick Morris. Watch this. Don't look for a media report on this, but Donald Trump has just made the crucial and good move to end Obamacare. And uh, he did it quietly by executive order, and I think it's going to be incredibly effective. Obamacare has two elements of coercion that make it unacceptable. People have to buy insurance, and the insurance they buy has to cover everything. And therefore, they have to pay high premiums and deductibles. Trump has just eliminated both have-tos. He instructed the IRS not to enforce the individual requirement to buy insurance. Uh, if people don't buy health insurance and they don't choose to pay the three or $400 fine, the IRS will not enforce that. So in effect, the fine is repealed and the individual mandate has been repealed. The other mandate, the other requirement, was that if any, any insurance plan under Obamacare has to cover everything, maternity benefits for men, substance abuse, psychological counseling, sex change operations, all manner of stuff. And this was all put in there by the special interests to make sure that they can get their money. And uh, you have to cover everything in Obamacare. And as a result, the premiums are very high and the deductibles are outrageous. Well, Trump has just told the insurance industry that the help that Obamacare will now accept plans that are more flexible, that are catastrophic only plans, that are what people and consumers want rather than the soup to nuts plan Obamacare requires. Now, if you have flexible plans, and flexibility as to whether people have to buy them, and subsidies for the plans that, that people do buy, you've solved it. Obamacare is fine at that point. It stops being Obamacare. It becomes the private sector marketplace with a subsidy on top of it. And that is the key resolution. That's the solution. And Trump is doing it by executive order. Now, this version of events is unique to this, uniquely reported here. You won't find it anywhere else. The New York Times ran a front page article, lead article, saying the Congress has stalled on Obamacare, waiting for direction from the Trump administration. And then they reported these changes, these executive orders, back on the inside pages, and they said it amounted to caving to insurance companies and letting the insurance companies continue to run the place. Uh, both ridiculous. But what it in fact is, is these two little-known, little-publicized executive orders solve the Obamacare problem. Thanks for watching, and please circulate this uh, to your friends and family. They're not going to get the truth out of the mainstream media. And frankly, it's too complicated even for some of the conservative media to understand what Trump just did.
Okay, so I can tell you that after I watched that video, and I watched it three times just to be sure, plus I double-checked his facts, something very significant has already taken place. The fact is that there is help on the way. I'm so excited about that. Okay, and please share what you learned from Dick Morris. All right, guys, see you in the next video.